This is a walkthrough of a very basic Catello patch management system. What I have uh, in the top window that you see right here, I have a fresh install of Catello. Uh, just to prove that's there, I'll go ahead and log into the shell. And you can see here that Candlepin and Pulp are up and running. I can also come over here to the UI as well, log in and see the same thing. First thing I'd like to do is to create a new organization through the UI. Come over here, you'll see some of the ones that I uh, worked on earlier. We'll go ahead and call this uh, basic BPM for basic patch management. And what we'll do is we'll create a couple of environments that we would like to work with. We'll first create dev. Which, come, which pulls content from the locker. And then after that, we will create production prod, which pulls data from dev. I'm going to bring up a little bit of cheat sheet information here, just so you can, uh, I can kind of copy and paste and make it go a little bit quicker. One of the nice things is that the UI and the CLI are hooked up uh, 100%. So let's go ahead and create some data uh, and pull some content down. So I'll do provider create passing in the org BPM. I'm going to create that provider named Catello and it's going to be of type custom. And then do product create one product within that provider. Call the name of that product Catello because I'm going to sync the RPMs that we're actually using. Hmm. That's a problem. I'll call it provider Catello 2 because that's obviously a bug I had not seen before. And then we'll go ahead and create a repo within that provider. Repo create dash org BPM. Product hello dash dash name. We're going to call it base. Oh, and our product now is Catello 2. I need to remember that. And the URL where I'd like to pull content from is where I just installed from. We've created that product and the repository underneath it. And now I'd like to synchronize that content down. So I'll do provider synchronize dash dash org bpm dash dash name Catello. While that's going on and synchronizing, what's nice about this is I can come over to the UI. I can change the UI to be that particular organization. I can then come under to content management. While this is syncing in the background, I can see here's all the data that I've created. And if I go underneath sync management and see the sync status, you will see that the UI shows that it's syncing at the same time that my command line shows that it's syncing. So this is all very good. While we're waiting for that synchronized to complete, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and register my machine. The bottom window here is actually my local machine. And I'm going to go ahead and register that machine right now. So I use subscription manager GUI. I'm going to register that, register that machine against this Catello server. You'll see that it brings back my various orgs. I'm going to select the BP or BPM org. And then I'm going to choose to select and register to the dev environment. And I'll kind of bring this over to the side. And while that's going through and doing the registration, I can come back over to the UI here. I can go, I'm still within that BPM organization. Here's the machine that has currently been registered. 
and now we can see information about the machine that I just registered. Subscriptions that I have, which I currently don't have any. Information about the machine. CPU, etc. And the list of packages that I have on the machine. That was the delay that you were seeing there earlier, was the actual uploading of the package set which I have on this machine. So, let's go back uh, to our command line. We're going to go ahead and we're going to now take that content that we've just synchronized down to the from uh, the yum repo and we're actually going to create a change set and promote that from the locker into dev. We do change set create dash dash org bpm dash dash name test. Wish I could type. Change set. We'll update the change set that we have. And we're going to add the product. Catello 2 is what we call it. And again, you can see that these are the GUI and the CLI are interchanged. So we can go back to content management. I can then uh, go and find that change set that I have. Looking at that, you know, I don't even know I know how to do that from the UI. Oh, it's in promotions. <laughs> should have done this part of the. I should have tested this part of the demo before. Here's my test change set that we've just created. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. No, well, it won't actually let me promote it there. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and review it. Let me see if that helps. Ah, I reviewed it. It looks good. I'm going to go ahead and promote it and we have that promotion of that change of that content going from dev from the locker into our dev environment. So at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to uh, my system using subscription manager again this is running locally on the box and I'm going to go ahead and look for the subscriptions that are available from Catello. Nothing came up because they don't match my particular machine, but if I take off some of these filters, you see here that I have a Catello subscription. And I'm going to go ahead and choose to consume that subscription, bringing down an entitlement certificate onto my machine. Again, you'll see that it's going out, uh, finding that information from Catello, and you see that it's brought it down, and I, this machine is now currently subscribed to Catello. We go and look what's happened under the covers. Let's go to cd etsy yum.repos.d and we're going to do a, do a yum repo list. This has created a local file called Red Hat Repo. And you see that it has a URL that is pointing to the environment, the host name and the environment, and the, the host name that I'm running against, the organization that I'm running against BPM and a given environment. I had to cheat a little bit for this demo and you'll note that the cheating right now is for populating that environment variable. Currently the subscription manager team is doing it, but if I cat etsy yum bars, you'll see here whoops cat etsy yum bars environment you see that I'm pointing at this at dev, and I have to do one other workaround right now. And I have to enable this repo because currently by default it is disabled. And now if I do a yum repo list, you'll see that it's accessing the content that's being fielded by pulp. Now I know that in that repository is a Catello RPM, so I can choose to install Catello if I want to locally on my file system. 